Landon, I'm sure glad you're here. Take care of the oxygen. Yeah, we would run out of oxygen. Yeah. Well, we gotta take care of Aunt Linda, don't we? <laughs> gotta keep you breathing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We know that there are a lot of you out there who have been asking about Aunt Linda and who love her, and we just wanted to give you an update, a quick update on how Linda is doing and um, some sweet stories about her and some kind of funny stories about her too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to start with, Linda has been well, let's talk about her health first. To start with, Linda ha is on oxygen. Um, ever since she was in the hospital, she has had to stay on oxygen. And mm -hmm. I don't know how long that'll go on, but we've it's got to... It's probably going to be an indefinite probably. thing right now. They are concerned with her having... Um, well, she's, she's had bronchitis. Uh, she's had pneumonia. Mm -hmm and they've diagnosed her with congestive heart failure, which I think you can continue to live a fairly normal uh, life with, with mm -hmm. that, uh, but there's concern. Uh, we, we were able to go visit her the other day and she looked as good uh, here really a couple did. of days ago as she's done in a long time. She really did. Uh, I mean, she's been in and out of the hospital. She's been in some uh, rehabilitation care center uh, that's taken really good care of her. <laughs> it, it is kind of funny. Uh, we went and visited her the other day and she's got, <laughs> she's got a lot of uh, oxygen line. She can walk from one end of her place to the other. She's so cute. <laughs> and she is, she's and, and when we were done walking around and uh, talking, visiting. When she sat down, she rolled back up her mm -hmm. oxygen hose so it didn't get tangled. And, and she's, she's proud just, of her walker too. Oh yeah, she's got a, a, a walker yeah. that she can get around. Uh, but she has been on one, and, and usually it's about this time of year she'll start talking about Christmas. And she's been talking for months about... A year. A year? Probably. Okay. Probably she's been your, obsessed with it. Yeah, she's been obsessed with getting this funeral dress. Uh, and she wants Jennifer to get her a, a funeral dress, and we'll so we'll have to finish this later. Okay. So Linda has has called us a couple times on our uh, trip, and that's okay. We we talked to her and we answered her her questions, but this she she has this anxiety uh, about many things uh birthdays holidays uh, events events uh that are coming up holidays memorial day family reunions uh she's just flat out nervous and she's just f quite anxious about us forgetting <laughs> there's no way we, we could possibly forget because she reminds us every day <laughs> <laughs> about what's next, about what's coming up. And so she's been on this funeral kick. Uh, she is wanting to get ready for her funeral. And so after months and months and months, Jennifer, you know, we, okay, yeah, we've ordered your dress. So, okay, we, we can, you know, stop worrying about it, Linda. We, it's on order. We'll, we've got it and it's coming and, oh no, no. Uh, so Jennifer, we got home and Jennifer went and bought her her uh, a, a nice pretty white dress some slippers and some socks and so we called her up and asked her you know you know is now a good time to come over and show you your dress and oh she was just ecstatic yes she's yes 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 come come over right now and so we went over and I'll, I'll let you talk while my <laughs> voice rests <laughs> so we took Linda's pretty little white dress over to her and she was so excited and we didn't make her try it on we just held it up against her I'll throw some pictures in here but we just held it up against her and and then we kind of got laughing around with well, her a little we, bit. Well we thought you know it, it really you know you, you hang it up in front of her you know you got this hanger right over her face and you know she's kind of <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe I was exaggerating yeah. teasing her a little bit by having that hanger but anyway 
we, we couldn't really tell how long it was on her, so you came up with the idea. So, I said, Linda, why don't you just lay down on the bed and we'll lay it across, we'll lay it on you and see how it fits. So it was just... Well, one thing led to another. Yes, and Linda <laughs> laid there and we put the dress on her and we covered her hands, arms with it yeah. like you would do, you know, and it was the perfect length and... and it, she, it, it fit her arms really yes, good. Yes, she was just... Really, just, play, it was play to her. She yeah, was she having was a good time with this. from ear to ear. And I am not making light of any of this because I'll tell you what, Linda has had some special feelings within herself. Oh, yeah. And Linda is not afraid of the next step. Step. And that's death. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say she's looking forward to it, but I think that she's very anxious about being prepared and wanting some things in well, in place before she goes and she has her own intuition oh i i think she I, this is she very knows real. more than what we, mm -hmm. we give her credit for for my funeral yeah for your funeral i think you're a doll yeah yeah i think you're just a doll well, we're just getting things ready for you mm -hmm. does that yeah. linda does that make you feel comfortable or does yeah. that give you comfort now? Yeah, yeah. makes you been happy. We've, you hasn't we've got it. this for you. Yeah, and yeah. and you're gonna be ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so shoot. maybe you don't have to think about it anymore yeah. for a while. No, don't think no. about it anymore. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry. About it. You just worry about getting better. Yeah. So anyway, we said, okay, close your eyes, Linda, <laughs> and and. And put your put your arms together like this here, down on your your lap, and you know, and, and just lay real still. And let's and, and we took some pictures, and you know, and she was just as cute as can be. And she'd mm -hmm. she'd open up one eye and you know smile. <laughs> and anyway, well, so I thought that by doing this. I would have relieved some anxiety from her yeah. that she wouldn't be talking about this anymore. Check, check that off the anxiety list. Yeah. So yesterday she called us and I said, well, what you doing, Linda? Go she ahead. laughs. She, yeah, she laughs. She laughs. She says, I've been practicing. Practicing? Practicing what, Linda? I've been practicing for my funeral. I, I lay down and I hold real still and I, then I close my eyes and then I fold my hands and I lay really, really still. I've been practicing. <laughs> is that the cutest thing you've ever heard? She is absolutely a doll. And she is, she, she, she told us, she, she's going to want to be to her own funeral, I'm telling you. <laughs> because she wants everybody there. She says, I will, all my cousins. She Oh, yeah, Linda, we, were, we were talking about pallbearers. We says, Linda, well, who do you want to be your pallbearer? Everyone. <laughs> everyone so there is not a person i don't think on the face of this earth that loves their oh. family any more than linda loves hers yeah extended family aunts oh, uncles cousins. cousins she talks about cousins all the time yeah. she talks about her grandchildren and i think that is so sweet yeah. because she has they she's aunt linda but they are her grandkids, grandkids the, oh, no. the grandkids um, she, anyway, and, and it, it's funny too because we were sharing this experience with Bonnie and Joel, and Joel says, "Well, if she did not mention Uncle Mark, or Mark, Mark just Mark, if, if she didn't mention Mark to be a pallbearer, I'm going to be throwing elbows and working my <laughs> way right in there to be one of them." So I think that's and so there's sweet of there's Joel really thing. a sweet relationship between. Our son-in-laws, our daughter-in-law, our our grandkids with Linda, well, but, that really yeah. is is really. I I mean I I find it quite touching. She calls that. Joel Mark. <laughs> Don't know why he's always Mark, and she calls Ellie and Julie both Julie. Julie. It doesn't matter if it's Julie or Ellie. It's they're it's both Julie. Julie. <laughs> and yeah. And the girls love it. The girls yeah. enjoy that. So, well, and then towards the end of the phone call yesterday, uh, you didn't mention, but 
you know, now her new anxiety is, and she was oh questioning, my. is, this is well, ridiculous. is, is the food ready? Do, do you have all the food ready for, for the funeral? So I got, oh, I got one more thing to tell you. She, when she, <laughs> when she was talking about this several weeks ago, her, her funeral plans, she says, I want my, I want, I want my dress. She wanted her dress and I hadn't had, got it yet, but she really wanted her dress and my purse and my camera. And what else sunglasses. does she want? Sunglasses. I says, no, Linda, you are not going to have your purse and your camera, camera and your sunglasses. sunglasses. I in, says, in her casket. In your casket. I says, I will, I will put a little handkerchief and a little hanky in your hands. And she says, okay. Okay. <laughs> but she's, she's thinking of all these little details and making sure that we know uh, what she wants. And, and Anyway, yeah. again, I want you to take this as a, just something very sweet. She's yeah. she's not planning on going tomorrow. Well, but she did one day. She did yeah. call us, and she was yeah. she was sad, and yeah. she said she wanted to go see she, her. She she was tired, and she mm -hmm. wanted to go visit mom and dad. She asked, you know, is it okay go, if I go, go visit mom and dad? And well, if you're ready, mm -hmm. you is... you are absolutely welcome to to go oh, visit mom you're and dad. Ready. And, and and she asked us if and we then, wanted. And then she, uh, a little while later in the conversation, she says, "Well, do you, Chad, do you and Jennifer want to go with me to visit Mom and Dad?" <laughs> no, no, not no ready. Not, we're not ready, not yet. <laughs> but I did say, um, let me think. What did I say to her? I said, "Oh crap! What did I say? I thought it was really." Um, Oh, I says, but I think it's sweet that you want to. Yeah, yeah. I, I says, I'm not ready, Linda, but I think it's sweet really that you sweet want Really sweet that you to. wanted us to come with you. Mm -hmm. So that's the update on Linda. I'll throw in a little clip that I've got if I can find it, and we will we'll close it here. I'm just yeah. afraid. I just don't want anybody well, yeah. to go thinking that we're Th talking lightly of it. Light we hardly, no. I mean, and... But I think it's sweet. It's, it is so adorable. Uh, and sweet that that she is this way. I mean, it's like your grandchildren or your children when they're uh, two and three years old. They say the silliest things. They make you laugh. They are uh, so pure. You're you're not laughing at them. You're laughing with them because they're so innocent and cute and and funny. And and that's the way Linda is. Is that she's serious. She wants her sunglasses, her camera, and her purse in her casket with her, but. You know, um, I, I think it'll be much more dignified and, yeah. and, and right to have uh, a little white handkerchief in her hand and maybe a picture of me. I don't know. <laughs> Linda is <laughs> but, so pure and yeah. so innocent and, and she knows more than we do. Yeah. And her testimony of... Uh, the life hereafter mm -hmm. uh, is as strong and... Uh, of the Savior, of what's going to happen when well, she goes on the other side. She that knows that be life a great, continues great on. Great reunion with mm -hmm. her parents, uh, yeah. and you well, know, she's just she's just wonderful. I mean, uh, and I can't remember. I think was it Marta, my sister, uh, one of my siblings. You know, somewhere along the line, coined the phrase that Linda is the glue or the mortar mm. that keeps our family together. And uh, I'm the lucky one because of convenience and, and being so close to where Linda lives that we, we look after her, we visit with her every day. And, but all of her siblings but, are very much yeah, part it, of her yeah, life. They're involved. Uh, we're in constant con mm -hmm. communication with them and text and send pictures. <laughs> and you know we, we just all, you know, are rejuvenated when we talk about That's Linda. A good way to put it. Yeah, we we walk away, and we leave those texts or these these conversations, just wanting to be a much better person uh, because of Linda. Yeah. Thank you so much for your prayers, your your thoughts, thoughts. your comments.
the, all the cards you oh, sent her for yeah. her birthday. You're and, just wonderful. And we we thank you so much, and we will keep you posted. We'll keep you updated. Ellen, what do you think about this <laughs> handsome guy here? Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It took three weeks to get here, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, where's our baby? Did you tell them already that you set this out here for me? No. My mom pulled the rocking chair out of the living room just for me. Of course. The blanket and everything. Of course. It's so sweet. And your nightstand. My nightstand, yes. Oh. Baby's over there. Oh. Linda. Oh, Linda. Do you love her? Yeah. My Aunt Griffith. Yeah, she looked at me. She goes, I'm Aunt Griffith. <laughs> she is. You are Aunt. You're the Aunt. Yeah. You're hold her belly. She's holding her belly and her legs, and she's being really soft. And I. As soon as I laid her down on Aunt Linda's chest, she gave a big smile. <laughs> she was she was asking to hold her, and I said, well, she's really little. And she goes, I know. <laughs> it's not her first baby. This isn't her first rodeo, is it? <laughs> she did. She brought a present. Really? What is it? So you want to oh, Linda, that's cute. Turn it the other way. Oh, that is oh, darling. So she will love it. Is that <laughs> Where's the baby? That's adorable. Is that the this baby? is going to be great for our baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was really nice. Should I put it in the diaper bag? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to get her to repeat it. But it was really sweet, and I want Bonnie to tell us what happened. Well, basically, Aunt, well, she left because she got in trouble, but Aunt Merlene <laughs> was saying, Oh, Chad, Chad and Jennifer, you guys are bad influences. And out of the just the corner, we hear, That's my brother. That's my brother. Now behave yourself. You, yeah, she did. You be careful there. <laughs> yeah. She did not like your brother. Dad. <laughs> Surprise! 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 <laughs> wow! Wow! wow. So pretty. Name don't pass away. <laughs> That's a pretty dress. That's what you want for when you pass away. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> That's sweet. We well, sure really be nice. pretty. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Linda. It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Pretty slippers, slippers and socks. But you don't need it for a long time. Not yet. So check that off your list and let's talk about something else. A Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs>